thank you so much for joining us today. In today's video, we're gonna share with you some little simple tips and tricks on how you can update your style. So these are not things where you have to overhaul your entire wardrobe. They're just some little tricks that we like to use to give a fresh and modern take to some of our outfits. So I promise you these are gonna be super basic, very easy for you to be able to implement. They're gonna be super helpful, especially we're beginning the new year and in 2024, we've definitely talked to you about some great trends. So we're gonna show you how to be able to easily incorporate them. Okay, so in order to show you all how we incorporate some of these style updates, we decided to create some looks for you and kind of take you through our thinking and how we updated these to be fresh and modern for 2024. So hopefully this will give you some ideas of how you can do the same thing in your own wardrobe because a lot of these things you may already own. So starting with my first look, this is a beautiful, very classic sweater, but the update on this sweater is that stripes are really, really hot for 2024 as well as this whole polo style sweater with a collared neckline so rather than just a traditional v-neck sweater which of course we absolutely love this is a little bit of a fresh and modern take with the polo style and the thick stripes and I thought this one was just so beautiful I sized up in this to a size medium but it is just such a soft and gorgeous sweater and definitely one that is a very on trend and then I paired it with these utility style flare jeans so any jean that has a more relaxed fit is really going to be fresh and modern for the new year. Utility style is also really popular right now. This is a great pair I found that also happens to be very budget friendly, so I wanted to share them with you. I am wearing the um, short length because I am five foot three, which gives me the perfect fit if I want to wear flats, which I did style them with my flat slip-on mules. And the last update to this look is this adorable little hobo style bag so this is also a pretty budget friendly bag and hobo bags are all the rage for handbags this year you're gonna see a lot of these like slouchy hobo style bags which really works well when you're incorporating them with these very casual looks so when you put these little updated elements in this very classic style of outfit you kind of get a more modern version of your look however you don't look overly trendy these are not pieces that are gonna be in one day and out the next these are very classic looks and that's really what we wanted to show you guys today is how to do you know more modern and fresh looks even when you have a very classic style okay so during this time of the year it's so common for all of us to be pairing sweaters with jeans so this is a look where you might be struggling a little bit with how is it that I can take just a simple sweater and make it more modern and fresh for the new year. And definitely this is one that's super easy and that's paying attention to a color. So I will tell you this like pastel blue, powder blue, baby blue, whatever it is that you wanna call it is such a hot color for the year. So I took this half zip pullover sweater with this cable knit design in this gorgeous powder blue color. I love it. I definitely feel like it is a color that can really be worn by so many different women's like uh, skin tones and hair colors. And it's definitely one of those like just beautiful colors that you can wear during the spring, but also you can effortlessly wear it during the winter. So because it's so versatile, a lot of you ladies can also wear them. Now, whether you like this half zip pullover which is also a very big trend. You can find this powder blue in so many other different kinds of sweaters, whether it's like a crew neck that has a little bit of a puff sleeve. You might be able to also find ones that have just a regular like fuzzy uh, sweater in these beautiful powder blues. So it doesn't really matter, but pulling in that color into your outfit is definitely going to give it a fresh take. And for this outfit, I also wanted to style it with a very fresh and modern pant. So I I decided to style it with a dark wash flare jean. So these relaxed jeans are definitely more on trend. This one happens to be very budget friendly. It's under $20. I want to say it's right around like $16 or $17. So it really doesn't take, you know, a fortune to be able to have an updated look. The other trend that we're also seeing is styling your jeans over your footwear. So in this one, I just took a pointed toe ankle boot in the color black and styled it under 
underneath the jean just to kind of elongate that look but just wanted to show you such an easy way to really add a new updated look to your outfit by just paying attention to those colors so one of the jean trends that have recently been really popping up a lot lately are cuffed jeans. So that idea of having like a large cuff at the bottom of the jean is really coming back around. This time we're seeing it done a lot with a straight leg jean or even with a wider leg jean. Now when you're talking about a wide leg jean, you're really going to need the cuff to be built into the jeans and sewn in place. Otherwise, of course, the cuff is going to fall out. However, when you're talking about this cuffing look with a straight leg jean this is something that you can easily achieve on your own if you have some of those straight leg jeans that are very long so for my petite girls you're gonna love this trend because you can now take those straight leg jeans that are too long to wear with flats and give them a nice thick cuff and really get a modern look that is also very wearable so that's what I did with this next pair so this is a full length straight leg jean that is really a bit too long for me to wear with flats I can only wear these with heels, which you are going to see in my next look. But I took them and I gave them that wide cuff, making them just slightly cropped, which is the perfect length for me to wear, whether I'm wearing a sneaker or a mule or a loafer. And I styled them with this simple sweater. So this sweater doesn't look like anything trendy. It's a basic V-neck sweater, but this one has a cropped kind of boxy fit, which is definitely something that we're seeing a lot of. And I love this fit because a, I am short-waisted, so having something that is cropped with high-waisted jeans really works for me, but also if you have something that is cropped to this length, it's a little bit easier to either wear it out or to just give it a little tiny bit of a tuck without having all of that extra bulk in the sweater. So this is a great one. I actually own this sweater in several colors and my daughters do as well because we all just really fell in love with this sweater. It's available in several different neutral tones I picked it up in my true size small and it fits perfectly so definitely wanted to share it it's such a good one and the last little style update I did with this very simple jeans and sweater look is just a simple hobo style bag I talked about how hobo style bags are gonna be all the rage this is a great one it's an Amazon find but any hobo slouchy style bag is really going to give you that fresh and modern look for the new year so before I begin the next tip, I wanted to share my top and jewelry with you ladies today. So I am wearing a navy colored polo style sweater. This definitely, this polo style is very on trend. I also love these like flared or bell style sleeves. Definitely a very modern touch to this sweater. Love it in this navy color. And I'm just styling it with these teardrop earrings. So these are definitely a looks for a less for those very popular Bottega Veneta um, style teardrop earrings that we've been seeing so much lately along with this snake wrap ring this one I also believe is a looks for less for a designer one so definitely I feel like I have seen this one before this one is also like very budget friendly but just wanted to share those things first before I began with the next tip so moving along I am someone who really has a classic style I love those effortlessly timeless pieces in my closet and if you are someone who also has that kind of style, then you probably do have a lot of these like traditional cardigans. And so when you are trying to style some of these traditional cardigans, you might feel like you don't have that like fresh and modern feel that you're really looking for for this year. So an easy way to really like get that fresh look with just a traditional type of cardigan is to find one that has some tipped detailing on it or even some novelty buttons. So this one is such a cute one. It's a sweater cardigan that has even a collar on it, which also adds to that, you know, new and fresh modern take on it. I love the fact that it's mixing some cream along with this like navy color together, along with these cute novelty buttons. I just styled it over a cami. Another way that I also, you know, was able to really update and give a fresh look to this outfit was by styling 
replacing it with some relaxed jeans. So these are a wide leg jean, but these are also a mariner jean. So as you'll see, there are some buttons that are along the pockets. These are for sure a new trend that are out there. It's not so overly trendy that it's difficult to style. These definitely are very comfortable. Wide leg jeans also are so on trend right now. So by pairing the two together, you instantly get this new take on just styling a simple cardigan with a pair of jeans. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I have on today, my shirt and some of my jewelry. So starting with this top that is definitely a favorite of mine. This is the third color I own and I'm really tempted to get the black one as well. But I love this shirt because it's a very lightweight, soft, comfortable fabric. So if you are in colder weather, this is going to be like a spring top for you. But if you're like we are here in South Florida, this is an all year round top. And of course, I love this like rose shade and I'm wearing some new jewelry today. So I've got some chunky little hoop earrings that I'm really loving. These are super duper lightweight. You can barely feel them. They're like featherweight earrings. Also wearing a pretty little heart necklace, which is perfect for upcoming Valentine's Day. And I've got a chunky ring on. I also am wearing my Tory Burch two-tone watch that a lot of you guys have been really loving. I love this watch. It's perfect for every day. And I have a little chain link bracelet that has some mixed chain link in it. So I love that as well. And of course, adding some little modern jewelry pieces is also a great way to update your style for 2024. Okay, so in my last outfit, I was talking about how I took those straight leg jeans and I gave them a cuff so that I could wear them with flats. Well, now I'm gonna share with you how I wore them without cuffing them. So these are a slim straight pair of jeans. So they are not a super baggy straight leg jean, but you could definitely do it with a traditional straight leg as well. And this time I've uncuffed them I'm going to add a little block heeled sandal that really works. You could also do something like an ankle booty, but this slim straight style is also still very much on trend going into 2024. And the update I did on this was I wanted to pair it with a beautiful blouse and this beautiful like cornflower medium blue is also a huge color for 2024. So blues just in general, everything from light pale baby blues to these more like medium corn cornflower type of blues are just really trending. We're seeing them everywhere. It's such a beautiful shade that I feel like almost everyone can wear some shade of blue. So this one is so pretty. It also has a lot of these feminine details. So this is a ruffle pin tuck style blouse and the feminine details are also really, really big this year. So those little updates just turn a simple classic blouse into something that is very modern and fresh when paired with this more relaxed straight leg style jean and a little heel. You take a classic look and you bring it in to the new year and I just think this is a great look. You could dress it up a little bit, you could dress it down, you could wear it for day or evening, but it's just a really really pretty and fresh look. Okay, so one of the no-brainers as far as giving a current touch to some of your outfits are not only looking for relaxed style jeans, but also looking for relaxed style pants. So we see that from everything from a classic black pant to even maybe more of those like khaki kind of colors. That's an easy way to be able to update your look when you're in the office. We've even seen this like wide leg or reloosed fitting bottom also, you know, lending itself to jumpsuits, which of course they are a classic style, but instead of having like a traditional slim leg, you can now pick up these jumpsuits that have more of that flowier, wider leg in order to give that current touch that you're looking for. But if you are also someone who is a lover of a classic shirt dress, you might really be struggling this year with, okay, well, how do I make that new? How do I make that modern? An easy way to do that is to maybe infuse some jewelry pieces that are new and that are fresh. You might wanna also take a look at some metallics, whether it's in like a shoe or whether it's in a bag. Another easy way to do it is to look for an element called a knot front. So in this this one that I'm sharing with you, you'll see that it doesn't have a belt like some traditional shirt dresses do have, but it has this extra fabric that's added right to the torso area where you're able to create this knot in the front. And touches like this and details like this are really what take 
some traditional classic pieces and make them more modern and fresh. So this is in a classic black. It's a midi style dress, but because it has this knotted front, it's definitely giving it that current touch that I'm really looking for. Okay, so we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are looking for some more great content, definitely check out our last video where we shared lots of great shoe options. And as always, we'll have everything linked down below in case you're looking for any of these pieces, and we'll catch you in the next video.